welcome back so right now we are selecting the all of the rows from the table students and we are fetching all the rows one by one inside this while loop but in some sometimes we may want to get all the rows at once so video have one method for that as well so let's copy this and we can actually call a method on this result set which is returned by this query and the method is called fetch all and this will actually fetch all the rows which are selected by this query so let's save all of those rows inside a variable so let's create a variable called students students and now this students variable will hold all of these rows returned by this query so now we can loop through this students array using the for each loop so let's change this while to for each for each students as I am saying for each element in student execute this line so simple enough so we should see the same thing so now let's go and open select.php I have already opened it so let's refresh it and you can see nothing has changed so we can also count the rows inside this student array so below this for each loop let's create an echo echo number of rows returned so let's concatenate and oops we will use this count function to count the rows inside this students array so copy the students array and paste it here and now it should return the number of rows which we are getting back from the database so let's refresh now you can see it is saying number of rows returned are two so 